because you about to be an ATL-E-L-E-M. Anyway, like this video as y'all come in here, like this video. Now, um, next up on the agenda, let me go to the KKKK, Kim Croy and the kids news. Okay, Kim Croy and the kids are in the news again. I am so sick and tired of them. Like y'all keep saying it's a publicity stunt. Nobody was talking about KKK Kim and Croy until they went and filed for divorce. Okay, now they people saying that she's trying to fight her way back to the show and all this stuff. I certainly hope not. There they go right there. Y'all don't y'all remember what she looked like. Okay, now KKK Kim and Croy. I take it off. <laughs> KKK Kim and Croy are in the news yet again. Okay, because you know they was filing for divorce. Uh, Kim, you know, was allegedly gambling their money away just two, three weeks ago in the Bahamas state. She lost 250 k in the midst of their house being in the foreclosure. Then to come to find out they got an IRS lien for $1.1 million and another one with the state of Georgia for 15000 It's like they just got money problems everywhere, okay? So Croy was like, I'm getting the hell out of here. I'm tired. I'm tired. I'm tired. Croy went. He filed for divorce first. Kim made it to TMZ first, but Croy got his divorce paperwork stamp first so his was filed and then cross the voice paperwork he said he wanted all the kids he wanted the house the car the dog he wanted all okay he wanted the kids he wanted the house even if it's in foreclosure he didn't give a f he want kim to get out and he wanted her banned from coming to the house okay i think kim the one with kim got a little drinking problem you know, she be walking around with the red cups all the time smoking cigarettes okay now you know, Kim said, I mean, Croy said he wants uh, sole custody, sole legal and physical custody of the kids, which is odd, okay? But, you know, in Kim's divorce decree, she said, you know, she was willing to share everything. Um, and so, you know, people are like, what is happening? Now, Croy, today, you rooting for Croy, okay? Now, today, TMZ has came out. Now, Kim trying to get on the, on the, uh, in the news cycle again, honey. She is demanding demanding that Croy be drug tested. <laughs> His pot smoking is dangerous for <laughs> Now, look, if she had said meth, if she had said he was shooting up, if she had said he was popping pills, doing Adderall, if she had said he was on the Molly or something, I might have been I might have been old boy. Like, Kim is dangerous. It's dangerous. But I ain't never heard nobody kill nobody over the mayor. But Juana, I don't know. It's, who is killing people? Smoking weed. <laughs> Kim said um, that Croy's marijuana use is dangerous for these kids. Okay. She said she wants him tested. She wants every head. She wants, look, she wants the hair off of his head. Okay, hold on. We're going to read the whole article. Shout out to TMZ. It was written today. Okay. Kim Zosiak says she witnessed her estranged husband, Croy Beerman, smoke pot, and she's afraid for her kids' safety, asking a judge to step in and force him to get a drug test. According to legal documents obtained by TMZ, Zosiak says she's got serious concerns for the safety and well-being of her four minor kids who are in while in Croy's care. And she points to his marijuana smoking as the source of her fear. She is scared. She is scared for the marijuana. Okay. I am scared for Kim's gambling addiction and her uh drinking that Jim Beam out of that red cup. That is not what I'm scared for, because you know them drunks get angry. Marijuana just make you go to sleep. Most of it. I don't know. You know, I don't I don't know nothing about drugs. Okay. Anyway. Says Zosiak is asking the judge to force Croy to submit to a five panel hair follicle drug screen and that he not cut or remove any of his hair until the screen is complete. TMZ broke the story. Both Kim and Croy filed separate divorce petitions last week. Both are asking for sole physical uh, custody of the kids and Croy's asking for sole legal custody as well. Okay. Uh, we were already in the first thing before the kids from financial problems, owing more than one million to the IRS. In his divorce, Dr. Croy asked Kim to retain all financial documents, including expense reports as well as income and tax records. 
Kim State, she and Croy are still living under the same roof hmm. with their kids. The same home that went into foreclosure earlier this year. Uh, it's got to be interesting. They said the tension's got to be getting, you know, hot. like how they living in the same house. It's almost like Nene and Greg was living in the same house. God rest his soul. Okay. And Greg was living in the basement. Nene was upstairs and Greg was downstairs. But I didn't believe they was getting divorced anyway. I thought it was for the show. And, you know, they got back together and got married all over again on the show. But I'm digressing. Because <laughs> honestly, I don't care about Kim and Croy. <laughs> I don't. He said they ain't getting no divorce. They pulling a Nene and Greg. <laughs> That's what they do it, and then they go, uh, they go get divorced on paper, and then do a whole wedding special again. Don't be tardy for the trailer park part two. Mm. Okay, <sighs> put in a one in the chat if you think this is a stunt. Put a five in the chat if you believe that Kim and Croy are going through it. Cause how you got, like? I'm just like, how you gonna go to the press and say that KKK Croy? is uh smoking too much weed okay i don't understand now another thing that's uh, that's interesting hold on i'm gonna pull it up honey. another thing that's interesting okay is that uh a lot of the the sites have been uh talking about croy getting caught on grinder now it was a uh who was it bravo and cocktails they had a blind item okay and in the blind item well, it wasn't a blind item because it had their names in it. Hold on. Let me zoom in and see what it said. It said, Croy. Let me put this up here. i put this up here. Hold on. No. Hold on. Hold on. Save image. All right. Insert image. Okay. We're going to look at it together. So y'all don't think I'm making up tea. Okay. Because I don't makeup tea i just read it now um here's is bravo and cocktails okay they was talking about it in a podcast okay they was talking about tea on kim and croy's divorce so now the people is running with it because you know i be feeling like people be making stuff up like you know podcast is just podcast i don't know but it says hear more about croy being in a gay app kim and her, her huge gambling problem state of georgia's proceeding and divorce and how a jury can decide blah 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 blah, blah. so um in this particular uh, episode of Cocktails and Gossip, okay, the people say that Croy was caught on Grinder. That you know that's been uh, rumored around. Now I ain't heard that rumor. I don't know, but the people who have been reporting the rumor got it from this uh, particular source. Okay, uh, it said apparently Croy was on Grinder preparing to meet with another man. I don't think, I don't know. What y'all think? Y'all believe it? Do y'all believe it? Or do you think Brielle been out there sending anonymous letters to the blogs on behalf of her mama? I think they, I think they just trying to make Croy look bad. Now they talk about Croy smoking the weed. Croy doing this. You know, Croy was an athlete. I don't think Croy doing all that. I really don't. I mean, I think, you know, he little, you know, he don't like the black people. Okay, but I don't think Croy is out there smoking the weed and uh going out and being on the grinder, okay, and, and looking for boy booty. I just don't I just don't see that in Croy, but he might be because I know you know a lot of the boys like his butt, but he's an athlete, he got a big butt, okay. Uh Croy does have a <laughs> Mr. Woods. Y'all need to let me know whoever in Alpharetta or wherever they live in their area. Y'all should be able to tell me if y'all see him. Y'all pull him up. Y'all looking for a strong white man with blonde hair who like it raw or whatever it is they be doing. <laughs> whatever it is y'all be doing on their apps. Y'all know what y'all be doing on their apps. Now I got friends. I'd be seeing that. Y'all be doing on them apps. Y'all be doing some freaking stuff on them apps now. Like it raw. I like it this. I like it that. No condoms allowed. Bend over for me. Do this. Do that. be like, oh my God. <laughs> Am I lying? Am I lying? Y'all know what y'all be doing, okay? But, you know, I'm just saying, I'm just an observer, okay? I'm just an observer. I'm all for freedom of sexual expression, okay? Anywho, I'm digressing. <laughs> you in that, you Alfred, he didn't show his face. He just showed his, he just showed it from the neck down, Polo Man. You saw, you saw Polo Man. Oh, I want to know who saw, okay? 
and where y'all meet up at okay and then when he get there how do you not say this croy that's croy <laughs> driver with a baby seat in the back that's <laughs> croy anywho i'm digressing uh i don't believe it i think that like i said before that brielle and them is working hard on their mama's behalf sending stuff to the tmz sending stuff to the to the lower level blogs just to get it out there that croy is this bad person because croy wants kim out the house and croy is asking for the kids now if he was doing all that you know he filed for divorce first right he had the unmitigated gall to ask for the house to ask for Kim to, to account for all her money because you know Kim was paying for everything because you know Corey ain't got that much money no more he didn't spend everything so Kim was pr probably paying for everything with her social media following he was helping her sell whatever it is she's selling lotions tonics potions uh used wigs and everything else okay he was the, the man in the warehouse sh shipping it out the warehouse being in the garage okay so you know croy is entitled to half of their assets so uh, i think kim trying to you know get ahead of everything and stop people from thinking that you know croy is entitled to anything now kim's gonna play the damsel in distress at like i'm a mother of four kids i need support i need money i need the house kick him out when it was kim doing everything y'all know it i'm team croy even though i don't care about either one of them honey kim croy and the kids the kkk over that child he said croy and turn got turned out by the way <laughs> That turned out by the weed man. I cannot with y'all. Croy deserves it. He was her chauffeur, her housekeeper. He sure was. He was walking around with a gun trying to intimidate the black women on uh the real housewives of it. You're right. He do deserve it. They all deserve it. That's why that's why we watch it with popcorn. Like, who gonna get it? Who gonna get the money? Who gonna get the cars? Who gonna get the kids? Who gonna get them badass kids? <laughs> okay, Croy said he wanted. If I was Kim, I let him have them. Like he can have the kids, okay? But you know, Kim needs the money, so there's that. But she gonna keep them kids. Them kids was her retirement plan, and she knew it, okay? Look, she got about 10, 15 more years, uh, you know, of child support payment. So yeah, she gonna hold on to them kids. <sighs> anyway, I'm digressing. I didn't even see what y'all said. Y'all said it was a stunt. Let me let me scroll up. Press one if y'all think it's a stunt. Press five. Oh, okay, some of y'all said okay. I see y'all. Okay. One choice. I had to scroll all the way back up just to see what y'all think. Y'all think y'all think it's a stunt? A lot of y'all think it's a stunt. Okay. Okay. Now when Nene called Kim trash box. Yes, it's late. Go to bed. It's late in Atlanta. I don't know what. <laughs>